Hey, what's up, Amnesia Cole, and welcome back to another video. Steam just released their year in review for 2023, and I, I kind of wanted to start a series on the channel where I kind of talk about the games I played each year and kind of how it relates to the channel. Um, this is more of a nonchalant video. Just kind of had this idea like 15 minutes ago, um, but I thought it'd be interesting to kind of go through some of my stats. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, this is my 2023 review. I played a total of 44 games. It's cool to see the actual percentage of games I played with uh, mouse and keyboard versus controller. Uh, there are certain games that I play with controller, for instance, like Watch Dogs is all controller, um, but like Valve games, those will be uh, mouse and keyboard. So you can see uh, these are my top three played games. Um, Watch Dogs 2 and Watch Dogs as expected, uh, since, you know, I make a million videos on those a year. Virtual Cottage, uh, if you don't know, I will be talking about it in an upcoming video. It's more of a, like a productivity type game, so I'll, I'll kind of put this up and it'll uh, have a timer and some music and a little animated character um, to kind of help me focus when I'm when I'm doing work and stuff like that. Yeah, so this is my, like, what I played this year, like the types of games. Uh, open World, that's definitely from Watch Dogs and like Elite Dangerous and stuff like that. Uh, Tower Defense is actually a new category this year. I recently just started playing Bloons Tower Defense and it's very, very addicting. I I'd never played any game like this before, so um, that's probably why this is here. And I'm guessing Choices Matters, probably Life is Strange, Space Sim is probably Earth X or Elite Dangerous. Exploration might be Outer Wilds, and then Relaxing is probably Virtual Cottage. So 80% of my Watch Dogs 2 playthrough is in October, which makes sense. I was recording a lot of footage of Watch Dogs 2 in October. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did do daily uploads in November, so I was recording a lot of videos for that month. And a, kind of a small goal that I have is to do a showcase on every mod that's not a mod pack. On Nexus mods um, within the next year. So I, I just finished all of the Watch Dogs 2 mods that aren't mod packs and are actually worth reviewing. So you know I'm gonna be moving on to Watch Dogs and Watch Dogs Legion. So for Virtual Cottage you can see I, I kind of started using it earlier in the year but then I, I, I really started using it heavily uh, these past few months. And now these are my fourth and fifth most played games, uh, Just Cause 4. Uh, this is kind of the go-to game that I'll go to to kind of turn my brain off, just kind of fly around in the jet, blow stuff up, you know, fly around in the wingsuit. Just Cause 4 is, I think, my most played game on Steam. It's it's really fun. I think I have like a thousand hours on it. And Elite Dangerous is also one of those, although depends on what I'm doing. Sometimes I'll, I'll kind of do some exploration just to kind of turn my brain off, just flying around in the ship. Or I might do some trading, but I really enjoy Elite Dangerous, one of my favorite games of all time. October, I actually replayed Oxenfree. I think the first time I played it was right before I did my Indie Interpolation video in 2019, but I wanted to replay it because I'm, I'm gonna be playing Oxenfree too. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Earth X, that's when I, I played that. Earth X, No Man's Sky, quite a few other games in April. Of course, every month's gotta have some sort of watchdogs. Yeah, so these are all of my games that I've played with uh, controller. This this really annoys. Okay, side note. This really annoys me that Ubisoft hasn't updated this this image on on the original Watch Dogs. I have it set custom in my library, but for things like this, it's it doesn't show up, and it oh, it just it really annoys me. But anyways, um, yeah. So these are my my main controller games. Let me guess. Longest day streak. Yep, April. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I played quite a few games in April. And yeah, uh, Lilo Company just came out. I uploaded a short about it uh, last month. Let me know if you guys want me to make videos about this because um, I got some pretty good gameplay. It's a, it's a very, very fun game. Kind of feels like, uh, you know, it's not exactly that, but it kind of feels like a 3D version of Among Us, as in like the kind of vibes comes or, comes out or, or gets big around the same time of the year. Um, you know, all your friends are playing it and people are just messing around, having a good time. Yeah, so that is my year in review. Uh, again, just something I kind of wanted to look over just casually on the channel. Um, next year, I'm hoping to get a lot more games played, a lot more games played on the channel. Talking about a lot more different games. Still making Watch Dogs videos, of course. But yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. What does your year in review look like? What are your top five games of the year? And yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.